All right, what's up, class? The goal for you today is for you to be able to solve problems involving scale drawings. All right, and what you're going to want to write down are that scale drawings are used to enlarge small objects or images or shrink large images or objects. Wow, I'll switch up the order. Um, all right, but something I want you to write down um, that I'm going to say right now is that scale drawings are very similar to proportions. All right, solving scale drawings is just like solving for proportions. All right, so write that down. So, I don't actually have any drawings on here, all right, but if I do show you a drawing, this is all the data that you're going to see, all right, in one. So you'll have a drawing and then you'll have all the data that I've got. So, for example, let's say a map of North Carolina has a scale of four inches all right, for every 30 miles. That means four inches on the map equals 30 miles. And you know what? I want you to write that down also. Write down that four inches on the map equals 30 miles in real life. Four inches on the map equals 30 miles in real life. Write that down. All right. So, for example, Raleigh to Durham. Let's say on the map it's 3.2 inches apart. All right. We want to know how many miles it is apart in real life. Well, first I've got my first ratio, right? The first one we're given, 4 inches over 30 miles. Well, I'm going to set that equal to our new ratio. Well, we're given the amount of inches, right? 3.2 we're given. So since inches is on top over here, inches will be on top over here. And then we have to solve for the number of miles that is. All right, so I'm going to cross multiply. 4 times m is 4m. 30 times 3.2 is 96. Then, to get m all by itself, you have to divide both sides by 4, so the mileage ends up being 24 miles. That's how far apart Raleigh is from Durham. All right, 24 miles. Next, all right, let's say we've got Charlotte to Raleigh. Well, we're given that from Charlotte to Raleigh, it's 155 miles apart. All right, but I want to know how many inches apart that's going to be then on a map. Well, again, we're going to use the ratio that we're given. All right, set it equal to our new ratio. We are given 155 miles, so since miles is on bottom here, I'm going to put my mile value on bottom here. And then the amount of inches, we don't know what that is, so I'm going to use i to represent inches. So I'm going to do 30 times i, which is 30i, and 4 times 155, which is 620. Then to get i by itself, I divide both sides by 30, and i ends up equaling 20.6 repeating, which would be 20 in two-thirds inches on the map. All right, that's it. Next. All right, another time you're going to use scale. All right, this is used all the time. House designs, building construction. Um, and for this problem, we're going to say that a house design has a scale of two inches for every 16 feet. All right, so what I want you to write down that isn't on the board is that every two inches equals 16 feet in real life, all right? Every two inches on the drawing equals 16 feet in real life. Write that down. All right, so for example, let's say the kitchen length, all right, on the drawing is 2.75 inches. Well, if you're in charge of building that kitchen, you want the kitchen to look exactly like it does in the drawing, but you're blowing it up so that it's the actual size of a real kitchen. All right, so let's say it's 2.75 inches uh, long. Well, first we're given our ratio of 2 inches for every 16 feet, so I'm going to write that in. 2 inches over 16 feet equals, all right, 2.75 inches we're given. Since we're using inches on top, I'm going to put that value of inches on top. But we don't know how many feet that's going to be in real life. All right, so... I'm going to use f to represent feet. So I'm going to cross multiply. 2 times f is 2f. 16 times 2.75 is 44. And now to get f by itself, I just have to divide both sides by 2. And the amount of feet that ends up being in real life is 22 feet. So whoever is actually building that kitchen will know just by looking at the drawing that that kitchen is supposed to be 22 feet long. All right, next. Let's say on the same uh, drawing we've got a garage. 
All right, and let's say that person just said, I want my garage to be 20 feet wide. Well, that means that you're going to have to draw it in the scale drawing so that it looks correct attached to the rest of the house. All right, so let's say it's 20 feet wide. Well, we want to know how many inches that is so that our drawing looks correct. Well, again, I'm going to start off with my first ratio that we're given, 2 inches over 16 feet equals. We don't know what the amount of inches is going to be, so I'm going to use I to represent inches. And the number of feet we're given is 20. All right, now, I'm going to multiply 16 times I, which is 16I, and I'm going to multiply 2 times 20, which is 40. All right, then to get I by itself, I'm going to divide both sides by 16, and I ends up equaling 2.5 inches, or 2 and a half inches. All right, now, what I want you to do is, with these two problems, all right, get all this data written down, I've got map scale, 3 centimeters is 20 kilometers, and a building scale, 5 centimeters is the same as 15 miles. Alright, so what I want you to do is write all this down and try and solve for the missing values by setting up two ratios. Alright, and solving for centimeters and solving for meters. So, pause the video, get started, I'll be right back. So, map scale. Well, we've got 3 centimeters is 20 kilometers. So first, I'm going to write that ratio. 3 centimeters all over 20 kilometers. And we're given 384 kilometers. All right, so for my next ratio, I'm going to write 384. And the amount of centimeters we don't know, so I'm going to call that C. All right, now, what you should have done is then cross multiply. So 20 times C is 20C. Let's get that in here. Equals. Now I have to do 384 times 3, so I, just to save time, all right, I'm going to use my phone to multiply these out. So let's do 384 times 3, and I get 1,152. All right, but now I need to get C all by itself because that's what I'm solving for. So I'm going to divide both sides by 20. All right, divide this side by 20, and that side by 20. These are going to cancel out. And when I divide 1,152 by 20, I end up getting, for C, 57.6 centimeters. All right? So that's how far apart Raleigh is from Asheville on that map. 57.6 centimeters. All right, it's got to be a pretty big map. All right, so next. Building scale. 5 centimeters is 15 meters. Well, we're trying to figure out how long a family room is going to be in real life. All right, if it's 3 centimeters long in the drawing. So, first I've got my ratio that we're given. 5 centimeters over 15 meters. So, I'm going to write 5 centimeters all over. 15 meters, and then we're given 3 centimeters. Alright, so I'm going to put 3 centimeters on top here. And we don't know the number of meters that's going to be, so I'm going to use M to represent meters. Alright, then I'm going to cross multiply. I'm going to do 5 times M, which is 5M. And 15 times 3 is going to be 45. All right, now, we need to get m all by itself, right? Because that's what we're solving for. So the opposite of times 5 would be divided by 5. So that means on both sides, I need to divide by 5. When you do that, all right, the 5s cancel out. And m 
ends up equaling 9 meters. All right, that's it. All right, scale drawing, scale factor is exactly like when we solved ratio and proportion problems. All right, it's just like that. Only now, all right, we're really going to be diving into images and trying to figure out what that little image would be in real life, what the size of it would be in real life, or maybe what a really small image would be, um, or a really small, an actual object would be in real life, all right, because people use scale drawings all the time, all right, for example, you know, DNA, that's an extremely tiny thing that you can't see, well, they want it to look realistic, so when they blow that up, they're using a scale factor, all right, the same thing with the skyscraper, you're not going to draw the actual size of a, of a skyscraper, it's going to take a ridiculous amount of paper, so people shrink it by a scale factor, so that it looks like it does in real life, all right, but you can see it as a smaller image. Okay, so, hope you guys did pretty well with this. I'm expecting that you did, all right, and uh, I will see you soon, so, later.